on a typical day in Alabama, there are about 7,500 school buses that drive 440,000 miles transporting students to and from school. Uh, about 375,000 students ride those buses. Uh, the numbers are huge, so any decision we make will protect a lot of people. Okay, everybody buckle up. Get your seat belts buckled and have a seat. I'm the principal investigator for a pilot study on school bus seat belts. We're trying to determine uh, what it costs to put seat belts uh, on buses, uh, the number of extra buses it will take because seat belts require more space than a normal pupil, the cost, how effective it will be at preventing accidents, and all the data that will help us make good decisions about whether to put seat belts on all our buses. We're working with 10 school systems in Alabama. Those 10 school systems have equipped 12 school buses with three-point seat belts and with a camera monitoring system. We're going to work with those school systems to determine two things. One, if students are actually putting their seat belts on, and two, whether they're putting them on correctly and keeping them on and using them in the proper manner. And always remember to pull that down to your shoulder so it'll keep you tight, okay? Right. From the surveys, from the study of, of, of recent accidents, from a cost-benefit analysis and from a study of whether or not children actually use those seat belts or not, we're going to be able to come up with a recommendation for the state of Alabama concerning whether they should expand the use of, of, of school bus seat belts. We are pleased that the State Department of Education chose University of Alabama and our University Transportation Center for Alabama here to do this research. Uh, we're taking it seriously because we think that, that this information will be applicable nationwide and that people will be coming here to find out what happened in Alabama because it impacts them also.